Okay, this uh, video is another one of mine that uh, I'm recalling one of the uh, service calls I had years ago and uh, what the result was. And the reason I picked up this one is it's very convoluted and very hard to figure out where all this came from. Now, I'm going to ask you if you can do it. You probably won't be able to <laughs> diagnose it because it's uh, pretty tough to do uh, without some uh, extra knowledge. But I wanted to go over this thing. There was a uh, case where, and this furnace is, is sitting in front of you as a test mule in my uh, shop, but uh, it's the same model brand that was uh, the subject of this video. It's a uh, Janitrol GMP from middle, well, early 90s. We installed a furnace just like this in someone's home. The customer called and said, uh, it's not keeping up with the load. It's very cold. And it, it's just not keeping up with the load. It's not staying on all the time. So, Service tech goes out, and those of you that are service techs will probably recognize this. As he comes down to the furnace, he hears this whistling sound. Okay, that's a pretty big giveaway for a plugged filter or some other return problem. So, he pulls the filter out, and... Furnace runs fine. Starts doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, keeps running through the cycle. And the installer just never looked to see if there was a plugged filter in it. And so that seemed to be the, the failure. So, okay. About two or three days later, customer called back and says, you know, this thing is still having problems. It's not coming on all the time. Sometimes it comes on, sometimes it doesn't. So here's the symptoms of what's happening with this furnace. Okay, inducer comes on. Okay, about 15 seconds later, we look down here, and I'll see if I can get close enough so that you can see that. You should be able to see that light blinking three codes. That's a pressure switch problem. So the pressure switch is not making. So, why is the pressure switch not making? Brand new furnace, had a plug filter before, so it was overheat. So why is the uh, pressure switch not making? Now, I really don't expect you to get this one because I didn't get it either. I found out what the problem was, but why did I have the problem? Okay, I've got the venting off of this thing. I want you to look at the top of that inducer. Now that's a plastic adapter, and it looks like it's cracked. But that's really not what has caused this issue. Let's look at, at the uh, adapter from up above. Okay, looking at this adapter here uh, you can probably see that's broken and out of place uh, and the screws a little bit messed up there too it's pulled out through the screw but here's the part that really messed this up right here that plastic has melted and it's gotten down into the airflow and that's what's happened and that's why the pressure switch was not making. Now, firing rate on this furnace was okay. 
Can you think of anything else that would cause this problem? Like I said, this thing's probably not going to, you're probably not going to get this because it really requires more uh, information than you actually have. But this is the information I had to uh, determine what the problem was and why it happened. And I'll tell you what I determined was the reason that that plastic had melted on this furnace. And I'll, uh, I'll come out with that in another week or so. Anyway, that's it on this one.